Hi everyone, this is Shamapti and I have few sunscreens with me. I bought this sunscreens recently and I am gonna test these things out and I'll give you the full review soon. I mean not that soon, I'm gonna take like months to test this stuff. I'm gonna show you the things I got and I'm gonna give you the first impression. Then I talk a bit about the sunscreen filters and show you the texture and show you the application process, how these things worked on my skin initially. So yeah, let's start. And first I have this Sun Diva, the entire sun block and I got to know about this from you like many of these things and thank you so much for your wonderful recommendation. It has pure sandalwood dust and zinc oxide, SPF 35, PA++++. They have mainly used one mineral based filter which is zinc oxide. They also have used this ingredient which is Tritoxy Caprile Silane which is actually light yellow liquid which can coat the pigment i mean this can help to minimize the you know white cast in mineral based sunscreens and it has sandalwood powder it is the one of the last ingredients and it has colors to give the tint and silicone is the main base of this sunscreen and all the sunscreens that i bought are fragrance free and i bought their top up powder too but to be very honest i do not think alone it can give you the enough sun protection the reason why is to get efficient sun protection we need even distribution of the product on our skin but with loose powder it won't apply evenly as cream based uh, sunscreens so i don't think i'm gonna use this alone as a sunscreen i can top it up with this sunscreen or other sunscreen but alone no I don't think it's gonna be efficient and for this matter any loose sunscreen powder this one this tinted sunscreen it has good texture i bought the shade 11 this is the lightest shade that they have i think they have four shades it is lightweight it sprays easily and it gives this very comfortable matte uh, finish and i topped it up with this uh, sunscreen loose powder and it worked okay but i prefer like kind of dewy finish and with this uh, powder it was too matte for me so i think i would just prefer to use this sunscreen alone this tinted sunblock but sometimes if i feel my skin is feeling like extra oily or it is too hot i need that matte thing going on i'm gonna use this uh, loose powder even you know you can use this as a compact powder if you want to i think it controls oil effectively if you have like oily skin combination skin you might find this a uh, powder to be effective as a like you know mattifying powder or just you know a loose powder I'm not saying that it won't give you any sun protection but i want even distribution so alone i'm not going to use it as a sunscreen i'm just saying it like repeating myself just to make this uh, clear and i have tasted this with uh, this recoil tinted sunscreen as well so these two are mineral based sunscreen but the recoil one has spf 50 and pa triple plus and the sandiva has spf 35 with pa 4 plus and the recoil tinted sunscreen it feels like heavier than the sandiva one and this recoil one is more dewy than the sandiva one these two are not like uh, like classic dewy uh, sunscreens these two have like very comfortable matte texture but this one has like more like this one is more matte than this uh, recoil one if it makes any sense and yes these two sunscreens have zinc oxide as their sunscreen filter and i also bought this loose powder from this gokul santol i mean they make sun diva but this one is way cheaper than this loose powder but it doesn't come up with like full ingredients list like this one and it has this overwhelmingly fake sandalwood smell to it it is artificial smell i can tell you that but this one has very like mild scent and it is i think coming from the real sandalwood powder even this one very light scent and they didn't add any artificial fragrance or any added fragrance but it is way cheaper it is like around 200 and this one is around i think 700 or something like that next i have this cause iq serum sunscreen it has spf 50 and it gives this broad spectrum protection which means it's going to protect our skin from both uva and uvb rays and the texture of this sunscreen is so light 
so light that I became skeptical that it's gonna like give me any sun protection at all or just cover my skin well or not. They have said to use like two pumps but I use like four to five pumps just to make it like sure because I use that in a period of sunscreen, clear sunscreen and what happened to those sunscreens like you know later we came to know those didn't have enough sun protection so that incident made me like skeptical so it's just you know me but yeah please don't use it as a serum i know it says like a serum sunscreen but it doesn't mean that you're gonna need like two or three drops of this sunscreen no cover your skin properly with it and it gives this very dewy finish this cause iq sunscreen actually has hybrids filter which means it has both mineral and chemical filters or organic filters but the thing is it stinks my skin i mean it really stinks my skin which stays for a while so yeah it is there and the another thing is it gives very dewy finish so if you're into like matte sunscreen i don't think you're gonna like it but it is very lightweight it doesn't peel and do not again use it as a serum like use like one drop or two drops that way you're gonna get matte finish but you won't be able to protect your skin from the sun and it doesn't leave out any white cast whatsoever now i have this skin craft sunscreen this is for the sensitive skin and it has mineral filters but if you're looking for a sunscreen with chemical filters you can check their sunscreen for oily skin i think that has chemical or organic filters this sunscreen actually has titanium dioxide as sunscreen filter and it has licorice root extract and licorice root extract is one of my favorite ingredients and it has vitamin e as well which can like protect our skin from free radical damage i have issue with texture initially it leaves like heavy white cast but slowly it goes like in like 10 minutes it goes which is okay with me but it feels sticky on my skin and i do not like sticky sunscreens but again i have to use it more to reach to any conclusion like any of the sunscreens in this video but yeah it was my first uh, impression that it feels sticky on my skin so next i have this kylon sunscreen it has vitamin e and ethyl ascorbic acid which is a vitamin c derivative so these two can fight against free radicals and it has zinc oxide as mineral filter for this kylon sunscreen it is slightly runny in texture it gives like medium that uh, white cast but it goes in like five minutes and it gives this dewy finish which is good overall the first impression was good and i have high hopes from this sunscreen let's see how it works in like long term and kylon has moisturizers and other stuff as well i like i want to try those things i'll get it like next month not next month i mean the month after next month because i have many things to test i'm interested in trying out their stuff i mean the moisturizer and i think they have one serum that interested me the last sunscreen that i have is this dharma essentia i think it is the new launch it is fragrance free it has mineral filters initially when i like pumped it the texture came out to be so runny so runny so watery i was like why <laughs> but after like six or seven pumps the texture started to feel okay it has like medium thick texture it leaves white cast but it goes in five to ten minutes it gives a little dewy finish which is okay and it has spf 50 with broad spectrum protection and overall it's like i hope like it works well for my skin okay to show you one thing that i got this sunscreen like for free as a sample and the texture of the sunscreen is really good this is requil ultra matte dry touch sunscreen gel it is a hybrid sunscreen which means it has both physical and chemical filters i have said it so many times in this video it has fragrance and that's why i'm not gonna use it on my skin like on my face because i prefer fragrance free option but the scent is really mild not overwhelming and the texture is very good if you don't have any issues with fragrance in sunscreen then you can go with this the texture is very good no white cast it gives matte finish the last thing i'm going to show you is that how i reapply my sunscreen so sometimes i just reapply on the existing sunscreen that works fine for me sometimes but sometimes i want to like take off the sunscreen then i want to apply fresh 
but i don't want to use like you know those uh, cleansers every time i want to apply sunscreen so what i do first thing i can do is that use toner i didn't even think about it that you know toners may work at removing sunscreen like in a moderate way and this hack has been working really well for me so what you can do you can carry this these things these are like reusable face uh, wipes something like that very gentle very mild and very convenient to carry and then you just have to carry a toner and just spray some toner on your skin and on this cloth then wipe your skin after that reapply your sunscreen i mean this works really well for me i don't know why i didn't think about it before previously i used micellar water but i prefer toner now over this over micellar water to remove sunscreen for the reapplication and okay i forgot to tell you please clean your hands before reapplying the sunscreen and it is very very important so yeah clean your hands then reapply and about like what to do if we like use makeup how to reapply sunscreen for makeup i mean here like foundation and everything like full face makeup i don't know and i use like foundation very very rarely and those days i don't reapply to be very honest because this is a mess because i have tried to reapply sunscreen over foundation like for reapplication and it didn't just work for me my skin felt heavy and just my skin felt uncomfortable so i think i don't know let me know what you do how do you reapply sunscreen on the like full face makeup so yeah that's all for now i hope you found this video to be helpful thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch us like this <laughs> i talk so fast so yeah see you very soon bye bye also let me know about your favorite sunscreen it would help me a lot like i'd get like more recommendations do i have plenty of sunscreens to try now but yeah maybe later i can try so yeah bye bye